like Ebony. Ebony's like, eh, I like lettuce. She's e Ivory's like, oh, I fucking love lettuce. The Dominic. And queen. now he's like, I'm kind of hungry sometimes. <laughs> Other times I'm unconscious underneath the fucking stuff. <laughs> there we go. We got the soda crack. What's up, guys? That's canon. That's getting put in. That was a fucking educated conversation about lizards. Hello. <laughs> Medi, Zip. Hello. Say say something. I don't know. Hello. Uh, there you go. Hello. All right. We haven't done this in a long time. Uh, this Demeter is... Demeter did nothing wrong. There you go. This is Burning Down the House, episode four or five. I didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't count. It's I didn't already. count. It's, it's been, one. yeah. It was a really long time. But we're back. We'll probably do this with like more other stuff because we just talk about a lot of shit. Because fucking video games are good. But we're here because the Vento Ario anime finally happened. Like, actually. Which, it was really fucking weird when it happened the other night. Because, like, I, I forgot who it was. Somebody said something. And then I saw so... Medi, like, fucking retweet some shit. And I'm like, okay, I need a link to, like, <laughs> see and or hear this myself. And then Medi links me the shit. And I hear right. Araki say, like, Jojo no Kimi no Boku anime. And I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. It, he was like, Oge no Kaze, which I'm sure most people didn't get right away. Yeah, as uh, Vento Aria. I only know that that's Vento Aurea or uh, Golden Wind because I've played the PS2 game enough that I that's just the name I recognize. Mm -hmm. But I'm so fucking pissed because I was recording my reaction to it. And you stopped when and, I said it? No, I stopped right when right as the shueisha people came out or right after the shueisha people left and they brought up like the museum guides mm -hmm. and i'm like oh so rocky's left the shueisha people have left it's not happening i'm going to bed and i hit stop on the recording and, and a fucked up thing is like beforehand when Araki reveals that picture of dio and i go oh haha -ha. oh, excuse me burp i went oh haha -ha, it's it the, it's a fucking uh, ladybug cock piece or yeah, uh, ladybug the fucking bolt. belt. <laughs> Part five confirmed. Am, am I right? And then it fucking happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it also, was fucking... unrelated. Unrelated, but uh, but shout out to fucking cursed images for putting a picture of Kirby sucking dick on my timeline. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's too unrelated, dude. We we're just talking about fucking ladybug bulge. <laughs> I'm gonna retweet this, curse everyone's timeline. Oh man, time to not know. open Twitter until we're done with this. Nah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, fucking. <laughs> totally opening it right now on my phone to go see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, Medi links me the fucking live stream and stuff. And then after that, the JoJo anime Twitter. Tweets like the key visual art and stuff, and fucking, it was like, oh, it's actually happening. And then for the next hour or two, Vento Ario is like trending on Twitter and shit, and people were like freaking out about it. And I and didn't. Then all the My Hero fans were getting upset because no one's talking about Yeah, my nobody's hero. talking about that shit anymore. And it's like, I find it funny because I, I like My Hero. I think it's cool for what it is. Uh, As someone who makes My Hero and JoJo videos, I like both of the series, but god, it's yeah. really fucking funny to hear people go, or people get upset that something else is popular right now. Yeah, that's gonna fucking steal their shine, which I don't see why people think that's gonna happen at all, because, like, My Hero's probably gonna get a season 4 confirmed after the, the movie. The season 4 has already been confirmed. Is it? I know they have the movie coming out. So I, I can't. Go. I don't see them stopping. I, it. I, they're definitely not. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be one of those. Yeah, that that is a good image. That's a powerful image. <laughs> they're just gonna keep going, and they're just gonna fucking keep pushing that shit out because there's no reason for them not to. It does really good. Yeah. So people, but people got butt hurt over that shit. But I thought it was funny. Like I thought it was extremely funny. Uh, I was cracking jokes about it too because I'm like, dude, you guys are fucking crybabies. It's like. Laugh. Laugh. And be be excited. Something it's been yeah. two two fucking decades since uh it's since been five hundred six. Anything days good has come since... out? No, it, uh, it's been two decades since JoJo Part Five has been in manga. Like Jesus. Yeah. That's a long fucking time. 
it, it's it's just like I, I I'm just so excited because also uh, did a bit of pessimistic enjoyment from this a bit of shot and Freud but uh, with part five being announced as an anime and with seasonal drop off part five may be the last JoJo animation ever made. I hope. Oof. Uh, so there may never be a part six anime, and I am absolutely <laughs> okay with that. <laughs> Uh, well, well, no, no, they're just gonna skip the part six anime. They're gonna go straight to part seven. That would take I'm so fucking long. Okay that. that would take so long and so much money. That's like the one thing. I that... don't even want them to make like a part six, part seven anime. I want them to make like twenty or twenty four fucking individual movies. Oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck, that'd be dope. Dude, they have to like have to animate like... or CG a bunch of fucking horses and. Oh, damn. Well, if it's 24 individual movies, they can take as long as they want. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine the Personas, like, imagine the Persona 3, like, situ uh, situation with that. Or they just make several movies and just fucking space them all out. Yeah, that, that'd be dope. Yeah, you can compress- or, hell, you don't even need to do 24, you can do 12. Just take, uh, <laughs> two volumes each, uh, each movie. Oh my god. Yeah. It's like okay so we're just gonna episodically release this but we're gonna like take two years in between each time and just fucking there you go draw horses it's done we spent 90 percent of our budget on the horses they look better than everything else they literally look like horses animated <laughs> <laughs> we did it we made the only good horses in anime there you go and then don't make a part eight anime because i don't fucking care like, part five is literally where I'm just like, I don't care anymore. Stop making anime here. Yeah. yeah. I'd be fine with it. Fine with like, it. as a guy that actually yeah. does like part six, uh, and hear me out on this, people, because no. there's not many other people that like part six. A lot of people don't like it. Uh, the, and I, would I, I like it for really weird reasons. Because, like, I really like Poochie. And I feel like Poochie, like, carries that shit so hard. Like, after going back and rereading parts of Part 6, I'm like, dude, if Poochie wasn't in this shit and it was somebody else, I'd be so fucking bored. I still want to yeah. make a video, like, rewriting Part 6 in a way. Dude, fucking do it. No balls. You have to make, like, Poochie not be the only important character that isn't fucking Jotaro, who's dead for half the part. Oh, like, what I want to do is, like two videos like how i would how i would fix part two and how i would fix part six and Oof. those those are two po majorly popular in the english speaking reading audience so it'll be interesting but that that's not part five those color schemes yeah that's actually one of the I first things they, i wanted to talk about i think they did a good job with that and like overall also, uh, you don't, go ahead if you don't think pink giorno is the best giorno you're actually bad taste Okay. Yeah, I saw people yeah, complaining it, about that, and, like, I was going through the the, the covers and stuff, and, like, a lot of, like, the, like, artwork, they have, like, the one where it's, like, Giorno with the fucking flower petals, which is, like, probably the most iconic Giorno drawing to me. And I'm like, dude, how yeah. do y'all not like this color? Like, it's really good. Yeah, like, it's... A lot of people don't realize that, the re that one of the reasons Giorno is, like, pink or... I'm assuming he's gonna have a lot of purple as well, is that it's, it's a blend of Jonathan and Dio's colors. Yeah. 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 And, like, all of the characters, they want to focus on the character-specific colors. And, and, like, half of the other JoJo's so far have been blue. Dio, or, uh, Jonathan, fucking Jotaro, most, like, a lot of his colors are blue or black. Uh, Joseph was pinkish purple. Yeah, so it has nice a lot of like pop colors. It's nice that we get a nice bright and like strong pink from Giorno. Yeah, and it's different and it like I think that also is part of what in my opinion makes it like good is because like Giorno is so different from like everybody else. And like Vento Ario itself is so different while it still like, you know, retains to the fucking like the series as a whole since they explain a lot about stands and the stand arrows and stuff like that like it's important in that regards but it has its own like identity and its own thing and it's really cool that they separate it so good with like making journals just stand out so much and like yeah. of course we're gonna see alt color palettes during it during the actual part. yeah they fucking change color schemes all the time during episodes that's one of the things where it's like you guys should be used to this shit by now because like i think a lot of people also just associate 
one specific colorway with a character forgetting that it's JoJo and they have like several quote unquote canon color palettes where they're just like, okay, I feel like drawing him fucking green today. And boom, you got a green Giorno in fucking chains and the Jesus. He looks like Jesus. And let's not forget, one of the most recent pictures of Giorno drawn by Araki had him in pink. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's obvious that it was going to be pink or some shade of pink. I'm surprised that, uh, well, I'm not surprised that he kept his hair. The one I'm actually kind of shocked about color-wise is, uh, is both Fugo and Bruno. Yes. Because al almost all of Araki's colors of Bruno are blue now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually shocked that they went with the white color palette because even his default color in Eyes of Heaven, the, the game that like Araki worked on, was blue. Mm -hmm. And uh, his his color in uh, All-Star Battle is like a lightish blue. Light blue, yeah. Kind of like a teal. I think the Fugo color uh, works really well. Like it, He looks good with that color scheme too, like with the green. But like I associate like green purplish colors with like acid and like it, i think yeah. it kind of like fits with like the theming of like his stand being a uh, purple haze it's got like the fucking virus and stuff and like you know purple little uh yeah. i am disease I'm a, clouds I'm really hoping that they would go with uh cream fugo yeah i feel like good. his cream color palette is really good but they're going with all-star battle color palettes so that that's it that's an interesting choice yeah also, the characters, uh, I don't know if it's just, like, just what it is right now. Because, uh, you know, we only have, like, the visual, and I'm putting this in the chat for us to, like, have this reference right now. Yeah. But, like... That's the highest quality did, version I've seen of that. Yeah, it's, like, really small for some reason. But, like, they did a really good job of drawing Mista, Giorno, and Fugo, like, very distinguished, I guess, and, like, yeah. unique. But I don't know if it's just me, and again, it's probably just because of the key visual, but, uh, Narantia, <laughs> Narantia, Bruno, and Abacho really have, like, a, like, a same face thing going on. I didn't realize that until somebody pointed out to me earlier. They said that they all look, uh, kind of samey. I never really, I, like, uh, absolutely Ar Araki is same face in <laughs> Well, this is an Araki yeah. drama. Yeah, this is a I would studio. say Bruno and Abacchio, but, uh, not Nar Narancia. Narancia definitely has a very distinguished looking pose and face there. Uh, the issue with it is I think Bruno's biggest issue on this sheet itself is his hair. Yeah, it looks weird. It definitely looks very, very weird. Everything else about it looks great. And I'm assuming this is just a still image issue. Because mm -hmm. we got those still images a while back of uh, earlier like OVA stuff and they looked awful. Yeah, but in motion they looked fine. Like I, I feel like this the the key visuals are really sharp too. I'm seeing like, like, look at all this the black being used here for like, specifically uh, Abakio. I mean Abakio and Narancia are wearing dark colors. Yeah. But even on Giorno, it it's like, uh, you it's like oh what's that strat thing where you take the paintbrush and you like, you pull it back and you let it whip kind of down onto the brush or uh -huh. onto the painting itself. Like I'm noticing that with like some of the shading, and I think it's it's fine honestly. This is going to probably be the most distinct looking anime for JoJo. I think yeah, so too. I, I I at least hope so because like part four doesn't look bad often. I only feel like there was like a couple moments where, and again, it's because they didn't take a break with part four like they did with uh, all the stuff prior. Yeah, part I was, four like, was like months after part three ended yeah this is two years so far it was it was months one and a half, one and a half. they one didn't and take half. any breaks in between uh animating it was just like a weekly episode just going out so it was like well, you that's have just, that's just anime yeah it was like you had episodes that looked really good like they had like the fucking rat episode <laughs> and then like fucking... The episode after, or like a couple after they show kira and fucking killer queen looks really cool when they're like showing the silhouette and it's like his eyes look like a fucking skull. He, he has that skull face and the yeah. quality queen. Yeah. And then like right after that, it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like this anorexic <laughs> cat is on my screen. And it's oh. just, it's weird. And that comes with them not taking a break, probably getting new animators, doing this every week. But like, my thing with part five is 
the actual manga itself happens over the span of what, like a week and a couple days? Uh, not even a week. It it's it's five days, four to five days. Yeah, it's just really fucking fast. Like a lot of shit happens in a short amount of time. Uh, so I think that they'll be handling the pacing really well because the pacing in Diamond is Unbreakable's anime was pretty good too. It was like, oh, I kept thinking they're not going to be able to put all of this into one episode, and sure enough, they did, and it didn't ever really feel rushed, uh, at least to me. And it was like what 39 episodes and they covered everything i thought that it was gonna be longer because part four is kind of a little bit longer than part three part four is yeah it's up there in length it, i think it's the third longest what's the quality queen probably somewhere up there but like <laughs> but like i thought that they would not be able to put everything in and i felt like at first they were gonna cram everything into like one episode but they ended up not doing that and again I all this time I hope we see a lot more of, uh, what was the date episode name in part four's anime? Oh, the, um, like you're talking June about something, something, something where they yeah. took three different mm -hmm. fights and combined them into one, into one day. Yeah. Cause they're happening like simultaneously. They the yeah. They that? all happen on the same day. And like in the manga, it's like, we go like fight, fight, fight next fight 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 next fight 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 instead they broke it up into like this is happening at this time this is ha this leads into this that this was really good that, that, was, yeah, that was really well it was one of the best things david production has done so i hope we see a lot more of that in like part five where i don't want them to change too much but i hope we get a, a long a longer ending yeah. yeah like not the fight between Giorno and diavolo but <laughs> Can we figure out how, how Diavolo dies with a little girl? Hey, can we please uh, have an asteroid come in and make me right around? <laughs> but, uh, like, I don't even, like, even with that, I just mean the way that part five sort of just ends after Mista opens up the window and it's just a full page spread of Giorno, like, Don Boss kissing his hand. Like, I'd like it to, like, pan out from there and kind of see how Passione takes off, how Giorno's changing things, and then have it end as like the camera like pulling away and it passes this bar and it goes into the bar the bar door opens and you can hear piano playing and sitting in the back of the room on piano is fugo and the person who's followed him out here is sheila e and it goes right into that like leads and then like coming blah 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 the part uh, part five purple haze feedback ova that'd be good yeah because part five's ending like it's so fucking fast because it's like the last chapter before the like actual last chapter, it's like oh, okay, right. Diavolo is just gonna suffer for a Diavolo billion years. Just fucking new. And then like <laughs> right after that, it's like okay, we won, guys. Our friends are dead, but we're alive. Mist is like oh, haha, hee hee, funny. Trish calls him stinky, and then they're done. <laughs> and, like that's it. What would be really fucking weird, but I can kind of see them doing it if they want to like kind of like sort of change things up is as the final fight is happening cut away to f like flashbacks of uh of uh rolling stone mm -hmm. and uh, but oh, yeah. that, that might that might be too weird that might happen right before giorno delivers the final blow yeah give us a like, fucking uh, seven page move the flashback now my real concern is what is Jaucho's hair gonna look like? Ooh, is he going to be blue? I hope it's blue. I hope they don't change his color scheme because his color scheme is good. Hey, his, his color his scheme. Hair, there's two colors. In, uh, in the game. His, his hair, hair is blonde in the games and in his figurines. Well, actually, actually, in in All Star Battle and Eyes of Heaven, in his like in his like little announcer dialogue, he has blue hair. Yeah, Does this he? one he has he has blonde. And then yeah, the other ones hair. they give him blue. Yeah, he has uh, blonde hair in the PS2 game, and it looks really, really jarring in comparison. <laughs> I, I, I want him to have blue hair. The I hope his hair voice actor like... sounds extremely fucking like mad all the time, because he is such he's an angry blues. guy. I hope he's fucking super pissed all the time. <laughs> exactly. Like, he, I hope, I hope they like, I hope they actually like speak Italian in it too. Honestly. That'd be great. Oh, Instead of the English, they have fucking... They do, like, the demultos and the molto bene and oh, shit. Oh, if they don't, that'll be a fucking spit in the face of that, like, translation. Dude, I, I hope... I hope fucking... I hope he screams fucking speak fucking Italian. <laughs> speak fucking Italian! 
that's the best. Why do people call it Venice when it's Venezia? Speak fucking Italian! <laughs> <laughs> but that, or, uh, that okay. too, I think that, uh, they're probably going to end up keeping the same voices. Because I know with Part 4, they recasted a couple characters. Like They have to recast Giorno. Koichi got recasted. No, Josuke well, got recasted. A couple they others did. What? His voice is so they good. They can't get re he can't he can't uh, Giorno is definitely not getting recasted from the games. Oh no! I when I say recast, they need to find a new person. You don't oh, like his voice? Okay. Uh, no. Oh no! No. no. He, he's a pedophile. He's a pedophile. Oh. <laughs> he is a child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giorno's voice actor is a convicted pedophile. What the fuck? Board. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. so much for having a good voice. The the one from All Star Battle and. Uh, Eyes of Heaven isn't coming back, but what they could do is bring back the one from the PS2 game. No. What's wrong with the PS2 game, Giorno? He's, He's great! He's so young! He sounds so young! He doesn't that sound That was in 2003 when he was like 15! <laughs> he doesn't- he doesn't sound 15! But uh, that's the guy who's done Koichi for a while. Oh, that was the same guy? Yeah, uh, Koichi Hirose in All Star Battle and Eyes of Heaven is the guy who did Giorno. In That's the... a good voice, but I don't know if it would fit. He like, he'd have to change it so much. <laughs> God, the Giorno voice is so. That's so disappointing to find out. Like, wow, yeah. what the fuck, dude? <laughs> uh, I'm assuming. You could have not done that, so you could have at least voiced him for the anime first. <laughs> could he have just at least waited? Could he have at least waited to get caught for child pornography? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, no, if he does come back, that'll be a shocker. Yeah, I'd hope they get a good replacement. I hope Bruno stays the same. Bruno's voice is really good. Bruno needs Everybody to else is good. Misty should keep his voice. Misty's voice is great. The the weird thing is they can't bring back Diavolo's voice actor. Is he also a pedophile? Or <laughs> no, he's Kira. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I can hear that similarity now. Yeah, his voice actor in the um, in the PS2 games, Kira. Oh no, and I'll star battle Rise of Heaven. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. The the one in uh the the PS2 game is is he's done other things, but they could bring him back actually. He hasn't done anything in JoJo. Yeah. I want them to use Okuyasu's voice actor again, but for like I just don't know for who like. Mista. What? Oh dude, I can't believe. If they I were to recast believe. Mista, yes, that would be a good voice. But I, I would hope they keep him. Mia is voicing Giorno be Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his, ver his first line is gonna be uh, be blocked. Yeah, you're fucking blocked. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking blocked. <laughs> That's what he says to Diablo as he fucking finishes oh, God, dude, him. Fucking Bruno, Bruno walks up on this. Uh, like, is this your quarter? And, and Giorno's like, Nah, it's not my quarter. And he's like, All right, then it's mine. All right, yeah, you're fucking blocked. Kid. Right, <laughs> <laughs> it's like this is a taste of a lie. I didn't work on that game. You're fucking blocked. <laughs> <I'm> blocked. <laughs> Ask your mom blocked. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> when uh, when uh, Chocolato is gonna fuck like he's fucking. I've created multiple alt counts. You can't block them all. <laughs> yes, I like, will. Fucking block. Like you, scum like you deserve to be blocked on all fronts. And like the ten pit and like the fucking seven page muda is just. All the fists to replace with block buttons. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta add it real quick. Oh my god. I, I, I can't wait for that fucking scene. That's gonna be oh, so there's good. So, there's so many can, like. Can I take half the episode, please? <laughs> it's gonna be like a fucking two minute straight thing. I, I, I should be a 10 minute straight Will thing. they keep the re in, is my question. I hope. I hope. The PS2 game cut it. Sad. They better not take out any of those little quirks and fucking sounds because those are good. I I I need Malone to scream Molto Benny when he gets slapped. Cause uh, he he's a weirdo. I I hope they keep his voice actor. He's super fucking weird. Uh, wasn't he the options in All Star Battle? He's the options or in Eyes All Star Battle, and he does weird shit in uh, Eyes. No, he yeah, he's, he's a gallery guy, right? He, he's options in Eyes of Heaven, he, options in Gallery, yeah. and uh, in All Star Battle, he's like a support you get in the in the special mode, I believe. Yeah, the, the campaign mode. And he's just like, oh, 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 Multiband. <laughs> His character's like, oh, fucking... you're such a freak. You're so freaky. <laughs> he's Creepy. so weird. 
But he's a good weird. That's the guy with the baby thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Baby so baby. Computer boy. Very good. His fight's actually the worst part five, sadly. It is the worst, but the more I read it, the more I'm liking it. I, I don't hate it. I just, I'm just saying it's the worst in part five. That's another thing oh, I yeah. wanted to talk about. I but it's better it. than like half the other parts. On the notes. <laughs> yeah. So part five has some of like the best fights. Uh, oh, one because it has it some has of the, the it has some of the coolest stands ever to exist in JoJo, in my opinion. Uh, two, oh. it has characters to back it up. Like it's not like there's a fucking cool stand and a boring character. <laughs> Hermes. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, you have like yeah, actual cool characters that are relevant that do stuff that all have really good fights, and it's never like they're just there once, except if you're fucking Fugo. But everybody he, else, he has a reason though. He yeah, yeah, he doesn't want to fight, and he's too OP. But everybody yeah, else, no, that, not, that's not that's not too OP. Fucking... Not too OP. Absolutely not. It, no, it's, it's because it's because he doesn't want to hurt his fucking friends. Yeah, and he's still a big fucking coward and didn't want <laughs> didn't want Fugo to die. <laughs> Which makes me actually wonder, because this is the only part in JoJo that Araki has actively gone out of his way to correct an issue in the past, that he literally paid money to a person, drew pictures for it, and promoted in the re-releases of the volume. Will they include Golden Heart, Golden Ring in the anime? Ooh. I really hope so. I really hope so, too. There's no reason not to. It's not even like, because David Productions is both a Japanese company, they're uh, a where that was released in Japan and mm -hmm. that never really brought over to America. I mean, I, I own a copy. I own it in Italian too. Fuck yeah, dude. But uh, there's no reason not to include it. Like it's it's bait. It's some people will say light novels aren't canon, but this is literally made by it the creator. Fucking, yeah, anything that's made by Rocky is like 100. percent And the, yeah, I mean, like it's not written by him, but it uses the notes that he wrote about Fugo's betrayal. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a very important part of JoJo, and it better be in there. Can we get, if it's can not, we get a can we get a George Joestar OVA instead? I'd I'd actually like a George Joestar OVA, honestly. <laughs> what, what they would what they should do if they were to ever cover something like that is do like what they fucking did with like that One Fist of North Star spinoff, where it's like the fucking chibi shorts Got that are like two minutes long, where it's just full of stupid jokes. <laughs> like that would be perfect. You just take all this stupid shit from that book. So like they can do like all the fucking cars in space and shit and just put it into stupid shorts with like really dumb jokes that make absolutely no sense the last like two, three minutes. That'd and be just good. release That'd one of those actually... like every week. So yeah, I, I'm I'm really excited because we have La Squadra, which may go which people may finally start to actually like. Dude, I fucking uh, Okay. So also, also on that. Up. Oh, go ahead. Uh if anyone mentions the fucking King Crimson meme when the anime comes out, I'm going to fucking oh, block. Please don't, people. Please. There's like it's been, that meme's been out for like fucking twenty years. We don't need it to be resurfaced. We've explained been, how it works for so long. Medi fucking makes. Uh, no, I need to make a read. I you need have to, to do a read. I, I made my read fucking King Crimson because I didn't like how my first one turned out after like I, I explained, all the time passed. The past. funny thing is the best explanation I think for King Crimson appears in a video that no one will watch about King Crimson and that's the Jotaro versus Diabolo video. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, the King Crimson meme is so annoying. I mean, like, it was, it's fun. I, I have an entire series based on it. It just works. <laughs> But the, the thing about it that's going to be really annoying is, is there's going to be a lot of anime onlys who have never fucking cared about JoJo nearly as much to even read the manga who are going to be repeating, it, it, how does this work? It just works. I don't get it. it. Works. <laughs> They're going to do the same thing with Narantia Trap meme, and that's that's also like fucking, ooh, fucking like, please don't do this. <sighs> please don't. Narantia is so good. There's like so much to him. He's fucking awesome. There's so much Don't... more to him than his fucking. Than him kind of looking like a woman at times. He doesn't, he he doesn't, doesn't even, even look, look like a girl. He just looks like a feminine he dude. Does. He does. Briefly. But intentionally. He does, but definitely I'm... not yeah. now. Definitely not I mean, now. Yeah, it's, it's, fucking... I, it's a lot. It's a lot up to the interpretation of the reader. Because I I've heard people say that some characters look feminine when they really I don't. Mean, and, he, and he literally has the San Aerosmith, which is probably a reference to the. Oh. Uh, I don't think it's a reference to dude looks like a lady. I mean, but it could be. Could it be. Could be. 
It could be. That is true. It, it absolutely could be, and I could be wrong. That but be I believe movie. Aerosmith is refer. I don't remember the exact song, but there's another song in Aerosmith's lineage that fits Narancia's character more. I mean, but yeah. It, uh, but it could be. Dude looks like a lady. That that's always been on the table, and I'm it waiting. Could be. For it. it could be a double meaning. Yeah. It could be. That meme sucks though. It's fucking. It's irritating, especially now looking at yeah. the uh, key art. Like, dude, Narancia is fucking like. Rip this shit. You can see his big beefy muscles and shit. Like he still looks kind of skinny, but like, I feel like dude, dude, gonna kick he's your ass, toned dude. out, dude. He will beat your ass. He'll stomp you out. He'll fucking stab it, you. Like, Don't mess with him, dude. He's not a joke. It, you forget that he's like the fourth oldest member of the group. Yeah. Yeah. That's and why he, he has to keep constantly missing. Oh, I'm 17. <laughs> yeah. He's shortest in the group, but th uh, fourth oldest. Only he's also got the most kills. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. If you want to count uh, Clash and the other thing is like two things of their own, and it's like five kills. Okay, I think wait. Bruno has the second Clash most. Clash talking head. Uh, 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 little feet. Uh, from uh, yeah, uh, from Agio. Who else? There's two more. That's three. I'm forgetting. There's two oh, more. Oh, Because that's three kills. What are the fucking? Abakio has the lowest amount of kills. Does he, he even get a kill? No, he has negative one kill. He has negative one. Do we count the boat? He has a he has a he has a KD ratio. He has a net. No, he has negative one kills. He got he got his partner killed. No, my God. He did. He team killed. Uh, but uh, Bugo, if we're counting all of the stuff he did outside of the anime, he has the highest body count. He he literally went and did jobs that Bruno that he thought thought Bruno was too uncomfortable to do, like killing children. What a fucking guy, man! What a fucking guy! But I could have sworn Jerno had the highest body count of the group. Uh, no, I'm I pretty mean, sure it's not. I'm forgetting. Of, if you count every single one of Diavolo's deaths, then yeah, sure. <laughs> because, like, yeah, exactly. Jerno has an infinite body count. <laughs> I still really want like a fan comic that's all about like ghost ghost Dopio and ghost Kira investigating the multiple murders of Diavolo. That would be interesting, actually. God, because it, it doesn't say that Dopio was killed forever. No, Dopio definitely yeah. wasn't. He dies in uh, he dies in Bruno's body. body. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is sad too, by the way. It's fucking... Oh man, there's gonna be so many people sad about everything that happens in that part. He's all like, no, please, ah and he kinda just dies. It's like oh I yeah. can't wait. Oops. I can't wait for when we get to the to uh, around the Abakio death. That's gonna I'm fucking... totally gonna start passing around the fake screenshot that <laughs> or the real screenshot from the manga, but the fake information that Giorno dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be great. Jorna dies halfway through the park. <laughs> yes! Park. Man, this is the first- it's like, I- I love part what? five. First part where the guys. main character dies. Okay, guys. Let's, let's it's gonna make this canon. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Seriously. Alright, so, you know how you- you know how you shit yourself when you die, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think do you think Narancy was shit in Giorno's pants and he had to walk around? With shit <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I think I think they uh body swat before anything could like fully process. You see what I'm what I'm saying is that when uh, when Giorno did that thing where he made flowers on Narancia's body, it was it was a little bit of payback for shit in his pants. Was, <laughs> that's just shit turned. I'm gonna turn your shit into. <laughs> oh man. But now, going back to the, the squadron, I think that they're probably one of, if not the best, antagonistic groups of people in, like, all of JoJo. Because it's like, alright, part three, you have Dio and his goons. Part four, you have Kira and, like, all the other fucking random-ass dudes that what show up mean, with stands. Dude, the sun's better. The sun's part five, better. you have you have the squadron, <laughs> and then in part six, you have, like, Poochie and whoever else is in the jail, for the most part. And then you have Dio's sons. But it's like, out of all those guys, Dio's sons are pretty cool, but like, the squad is just the fucking coolest shit. It's like, alright, yeah. we're more people inside the gang, we're our own little secluded group that's fucking full of I super strong stand users, we're a fucking hit squad, like, we will chop your body to pieces and fucking it, send it to people. It's the first time that the villain squad has felt like an actual threat. 
Yeah. Like, they're, like, actually also to, like, a fucking team. So it's, like, they're, it's not just random team. bad guys that are just, like, oh, this guy told me to come fucking kill you. It's, like, no, all right, dude, let's go fucking body they're these also, guys that are betraying us. I believe it's La Squadra Assassin, which is just... Yeah. A squad of assassins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like it's like execution or some shit. It's like a fucking execution squad. Yeah. It's like fucking. Yeah. These guys, pay, their job is to kill people. So yeah, they're really fucking good at it too. So yeah, yeah. It's really fucking scary now. Yeah, they come in, they fucking hunt these guys like fucking dogs, and they're just on their asses the whole time. Like literally, there's no room for fucking breathing until they get to uh, Diablo, and then even after that. After the fucking boat scene and stuff. The first thing I that really fucking happens, they go, they try to go get food and fucking Narantia fucking loses his tongue. It's like, oh, well, shit, you gotta fight. How am I supposed to communicate with you? I don't know, I gotta fucking pee. Oh, uh, what's the, the Hunter Hunter guy's name? Uh, Togashi? Yeah, Togashi. I really need to look through Togashi interviews to see if he is at all inspired by Rocky because... Fucking the Phantom Troops feels so heavily inspired by fucking La Squadra. At first, oh, I thought it was yeah. the other way around. Hmm. Like, but looking back on it, just because, I mean, it is, it is like, base things. Like, a lot of the designs, I feel, look very similar. Like, I feel Carollo and uh, Rizzuto look very similar. I've never thought about yeah. that. Wow. Uh, it's, it's, though there aren't any female members of La Squadra. In yeah, fact, not. there's not many females in Part 5 in general. It's just Trish. <laughs> Is, is part five the incel part of Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, if they do add Golden Heart, Golden Ring, there will be at least two girls. Three, actually. One will die. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, sad. Yeah, like, this is so sad. They're fucking... They're crazy. And they have some of the best stands. And it provides some of the best fights. Uh, and easily for me, my most anticipated one is gonna be the White Album fight, cause one, all the Mr. Giorno fights are really good. Like fucking, that's the next JoJo related video I plan on doing, uh, cause I've had like notes for it for a while, but I've just been like doing fucking other shit and playing video games, being lazy. But the Giorno Mr. Duo is like really good, uh, not just in terms of like story and shit, and Mista being the fucking only other guy that survives the, the whole thing, because everybody else fucking dies and Fugo disappears. Yeah. But like, I don't know, dude. Araki did a really good job of writing the two together, and like their fights are so fucking cool. And the White Album fight fucking starts with Giorno suggesting, hey, they can catch us really easy if we're in one car, so why don't we just steal a hundred cars? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, That's what the, the fuck does shit. that mean? And That's he's like, exactly. Fight. That's the baby face fight. Yeah. yeah. It was like... And, and to be fair, Giorno do, like, it does sound really stupid on the surface, but if Giorno he had a good idea. A hundred cars into frogs and then unchanges them back in random locations. Yeah, dude, he, fucking, he had a good idea. Like, there's only so many members of the fucking squadra. Like, they can't all individually chase a hundred cars. If they're in one car, sure, it's very easy for them to just all fucking jump one car and literally kill everybody then, in seconds. Uh, but then Canolo yeah. Marolo fucks over the their entire plan by <laughs> giving them the location of the fucking CD. But that'll probably be cut because they won't do a purple haze. As much as I want them to do it, I'm I'm absolutely not expecting a purple haze feedback OVA. If it, if, it, uh, if it happens, that'll be amazing. I hope the, so. The cause... reprinting of the Purple Haze feedback novel is suspicious to me, because I feel like, oh, they're reprinting it, and they must have had this plan for a while now that they're willing to like give that it's coming out this year, meaning yeah. that they have been working on it, and the first episode is finished because it's going to be displayed in front of an audience in fucking two weeks. Yeah, they're showing it in Japan, they're showing it in Italy or France or some shit, and then they're showing it at they're Anime at Expo. Yeah. yeah. I really want to go to AX to see it. Probably won't be able to make it. Yeah. That's gonna be crazy. I know Caleb's going, and I told Caleb, I'm like, dude, you fucking figure record something that. out. Record. I was like, record that shit, yeah. FaceTime me during the fucking screening, like, yeah, I gotta yeah, see this shit, dude. Really it. Yeah, tell Caleb to call us up in, like, fucking Discord and, like, hold his phone up. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I nah, told him. Tell, like, he doesn't really like record it, actually. Just tell him to record it. If he does record it, that'd be fucking sick. I mean, he I might get in a lot of trouble if he uploads it anywhere publicly. No, just just put it in like a a, a mega. Yeah. That that that'd be nice. Yeah. That's Listen, in America, shit. we record our we cam our shit. We ain't those fucking people like for the entire for the year and a half. That we had to wait to get the fucking part four movie because a bunch of Japanese people are too nice to go and cam their shit. <laughs> but I'd be surprised if they don't do the Purple Haze uh, feedback OVA just because they've done all the Rohan stuff uh, right yeah, now. I think the Rohan there's stuff like is made by Rocky. Yeah, but I think there's like one more uh, Rohan like light novel that they haven't adapted yet. Maybe one more because they've done like three OVA episodes already. What do you mean? There's only one more. There's there's like there's like ten Rohan chapters. There you go. Where where is where is Rohan at the Louvre? W Rohan at the Louvre. Neat. It, 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 I would. I have they not announced that yet? What was the last no, one they announced? No. It was the, uh, the last the one, one they announced was back in January when we got where, the news. Where's Rohan at Gucci, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Rohan Rohan goes Gucci. Oh, I'd be so fucking violently ill if they made that before. My favorite JoJo stand, the Gucci bag. Yeah, You know, dude. if they do ever remake Rohan, or if Rohan's uh, exhibit it ever gets, like, upgraded, they could do an anime for it. They could, because that would be really yeah. good promotion for them. But yeah, I didn't I didn't know they were reprinting uh, Purple Haze feedback, so I don't they see why... It, it was It was reprinted back in 2017. Huh. I, yeah, yeah, see, I don't see why they would do that and not, like, fucking uh, They did release also it again. reprint two months later, uh, George Joestar. Hmm. <laughs> but they didn't reprint Over Heaven. I don't know why. <laughs> I think not they. Over I heaven. Think, huh? Why not Over Heaven? I don't know. I'm very confused. Of the three that were made for Versus JoJo, the two kind of canon ones, uh, uh, Over Heaven and uh, Golden Heart, Golden Ring, or uh, uh, go, uh, Purple Haze Feedback, they, they're, they're one, one got shafted, the other one got reprinted. And I think George Joestar got reprinted for the memes. Probably. So I assume Purple Haze uh, Feedback, or Purple Haze, yeah, Purple Haze Feedback will get made, but I have no hopes that it. it, it uh I think I think that's understand. I think that. I hope, yeah. I hope we see. I hope we see uh, George Joestar oviated with funny, funnier, and funniest Valentine. I'm telling you, man. The fucking chibi two minute shorts. It'll be <laughs> low cost on the budget because they're fucking animating two minute shorts with chibi characters. Yeah. It'll be good for fucking the jokes because they're chibi characters, so they can already make fucking jokes with that shit. Fucking the fact that Sound Man is a villain, like a. <laughs> A big time villain in fucking George Joestar is still <laughs> astounding to me. Dude, I love sound, sound man, dude, and he did nothing wrong. Fucking or uh, NYPD Blue. My stand is a fucking New York police officer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really powerful stand. Yeah, totally and then it fucking <laughs> tells Abaccio to let his partner die, and then he dies. Okay, here's the real question. Diavolo's colors, what are they gonna be? Um, okay. I'm gonna post this in the chat. I recommend uh, Earthchan Diablo. Or is it? <laughs> no, Here we go. No, 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 no. This is Earthchan. No, 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 this is actual no, 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 no. canon Earthchan no, 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 no. Diablo, dude. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I don't I don't remember when I got that footage. I was fucking that was probably for my Diablo uh remake video. But I fucking I'm going through the colors and I'm like, oh he has blue. And I fucking select it, it's fucking Earthchan. He's got like green pants or some shit. See, my biggest concern is that they're going to go with uh, King Crimson. <laughs> <laughs> King Crimson's a powerful fucking meme, dude. Dude, that'd dude, be you great. Need to find... Close King Crimson, medic, please. Oh, I need to find I have it. it. I have it. I have it on deck, dude. It's fucking right there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the video, dude. King oh. Crimson needs to be in the <laughs> King Crimson is so powerful. <laughs> It's the perfect name too. <laughs> but I, I can see that being an alt color. I, I'm afraid that we might not get good colors for Diavolo. And I hope that I'm wrong, but I'm still afraid that we might not get good colors. He has a couple colors. cool ones. Yeah, he probably, he's probably gonna have the 
pink and like red color still. Yeah, they might go with that. But if they do decide to pick a different one, I'd like the. Yeah, because uh, they have stayed consistent in every single game that he makes an appearance in. But I don't. Has Diavolo been drawn by a Rocky in color? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he has. Probably. I'd be surprised if he hasn't. Be pretty damn surprised. Oh yep, he has. Okay. For uh, Rocky's favorite character. That would also mean know. that the Dopio colors yeah, would be different. Yeah, see? He's, he's, he, has, he has a decent color. Yeah, and if it's not that, then it'll be probably blue. Uh, no, I doubt it would be blue, actually, because the fucking... It's, it's literally called King Crimson. It's gonna be fucking red. Oh, no, not King Crimson. I mean, Diavolo. No, dude, they're gonna fucking localize the name if, and change it. If he's fucking... Oh, that's gonna be so I, fun. Somebody, the fucking subtitles. Oh, fuck. It's now, so here's the real question. Crimson. What's Sticky Fingers color gonna be? Ooh. Fucking, I hope pink. pink I hope pink as well. Pink is good. Pink Bruno is actually the best Bruno. If anyone disagrees, you should, you should fuck off, is honestly. Is there pink Bruno? Yes! Yeah, Bruno has a lot of colors. Battle. Cause yeah, Bruno also has like a bunch of different outfits in the games. Yeah. Like I, I have the pink Bruno and I main pink okay, Bruno. Okay, uh, Dopio's Bruno. main color <laughs> scheme that they go with in the games is the purple, like yeah. the, like dark purple. But then uh, in, in the, the manga PS2 they do game, like the pink. Went, yeah. In the PS2 game they went with the the pink one. Yeah. His hair looks really fucking weird in that. Sad game how one. we don't have a sad how we don't have a Dopio skin in any of the games. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, uh, if my my hope is that because there was there is still unconfirmed or undenied claims about a single player JoJo game in the works by I forget which company. So I hope that in so, in some way the single player game is a part five themed game, and that it's the part five game that we got. But now with all of the levels completed, except for the spider one where you fight a spider inside of a bottle of Neurontia, I don't want that level. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they can't cut stuff. I think they can cut that one. That one's not necessary. You already you have it. Is. No, it don't is. worry. You already have the fight with Formaggio. It's in the game, so you don't need to. You don't need to do the thing. No. You know what they are gonna cut? All the fucking gore in part five, dude. There's gonna be so much Sad. black. Only in the only in the fucking uh, TV. The TV release, there. yeah. Blu-ray will have like all the stuff. Grateful Dead's just gonna be fucked. It's it's gonna be bad, like. If you thought Jotaro smoking Grateful being censored Dead was, is, like, dumb... What's well, gonna be fucked is, like, uh... No, the fucking Nero fight is gonna be fucked. The Metallica yeah. fight? D oh, absolutely. Fucking Metallica black is black going screen. to be a black screen half the Look time. Look at this, boys. Okay, so there's Dopio thinking he's getting his head blown up. Uh, after that, you fucking see Abacho get impaled, and it's, like, really fucking huge. I want to see chest. go through the manga and, like, add the, the TV censors. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. I'll fucking do that shit right after this. I'll just tweet it. <laughs> it's just gonna be this- You're gonna see, like, the side of Dopio's <laughs> fucking shirt. And everything else is just gonna be black. But it's- it's gonna be Every bad. time I think of censorship in, for American releases, I always rem I remember- I uh, remember- what's gonna happen when fucking- If- if they animate part 7 and Diego gets cut in fucking half? Oh, they don't even really show that even in the manga. Um, they still show its fucking legs and fucking torso. I just hope they, they don't. I hope they don't like. like... They, there's nothing wrong. With, what they're afraid to show is ho like holes open in people and yeah. bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. Or some or kids breaking the law. It's it's really stupid though the fucking because there's like there's so much blood in like all these fights because like that's another thing too. Uh, with part five, every fight is a fight to the death. Like, there's no fucking yeah. friendly they're... fights, there's no pulling punches, there's no, aha, I knocked you out XD, or I turned you into a rock. No, they're fucking killing each other, every fight. I don't think there's a fight that ends in part 5 without a death. I can't think of any either. Like, nothing comes to mind. Yeah. Like, fucking, literally everything ever Yeah. is you, just like, you, you, fuck, you die. You fucking get killed. <laughs> yeah. Like, fucking, uh, Nero gets killed by fucking Dopio. Oh, uh, all, of, all of the squadron die. Seko gets bodied to fucking all hell. Uh, the train fight, oh, literally oh, Bruno know, dismembers there two, there's, everybody. There's two fights, two fights that end without a death. It's Mario, Zuckero, and, uh, Sail. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. They, they are the only two fights in Part 5 that end without a death. They're knocked unconscious, and it's because they, they it was infighting, 
but it wasn't. They weren't fighting to the death because they were all going after Pulpo's money, and afterwards there was no bad blood. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But everything yeah. else is literally like, dude, fuck you, LMAO stabs can you in the heart. Can we talk about how? Can we talk about fucking Karn dies immediately? <laughs> no, not him. <laughs> Him, man, that man was born with a fucking horrible face, but a 12-inch slong. <laughs> <laughs> he, he walked at a nigga when he had a fucking gun pointed at him. He fucking got <laughs> shot 12 times. His, his bulge is massive. <laughs> Makes up for the fact that he's ugly as fuck. <laughs> Yo, dude, he gets bitches daily for this bulge. <laughs> 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 Look at that shit! <laughs> he can't even fucking zip his pants up. <laughs> so massive. Don't even massive. think his pants fit. His pants yeah, are like fucking. Pants. They're like parachute pants around his waist, dude. Look at that. That body type. He's like all torso with a fucking giant beer gut too. <laughs> dude. He's fucking powerful. This is the best Look JoJo those, design. Like, this is literally a man who just did nothing but binge drink and did not work out. Look at how small his arms are. <laughs> That's the best fucking JoJo design of all time. Yeah. Easily. That's gonna be cool to see it animated though, because we get uh, Spice Girls out of that. Oh man, I can't wait. I hope that they, the, the episode get, goes to the end, and it's just, the end is him dying. <laughs> oh my no, god. The end is just... Everyone's just like, wow, that was a really weird fight. Yeah, and then fucking after credits, they just show uh, Notorious B.I.G. drowning in the fucking <laughs> ocean, and it's like, ah! No, it's fucking... No. Awesome, here's a realistic depiction of Carne's body. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dude, fucking, fucking gross. Dude, can we have like a fucking... Can we have like a fucking f for car for card at the end of the episode oh my god like an actual like tribute for card as the credits <laughs> dude fuck yeah <laughs> oh i wonder what color scheme they're gonna go for leaky eyed luca that'll be neat i hope they don't change nero i like nero's like gothic but ass leaky fucking eyed luca die like fucking immediately black. Yeah, yeah but he has multiple color schemes <laughs> why he has he dies a immediately he has a different color scheme for every appearance he's ever had. <laughs> he has green hair, red hair, pink hair. It's fucking, it's, it's astounding how much fucking color schemes Leaky Eyed Luca has. It's also not confirmed whether or not his stand is his shovel. Some sources say yes, some say no. <laughs> I hope his stand is his fucking shovel, dude. I hope it's confirmed. I hope it's like in the fucking middle of the episode. The fucking stand screen shows up. It's his shovel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my he god. He everything. Be fucking great, but yeah, they should 100% keep Nero's color scheme. I love it. I like that he's got fucking like... His like pupils are red and then the rest of his eyes are just black. Like, he's so fucking metal, dude. I mean, he is Sam. Yeah, he's yeah, fucking Metallica. I really want to re redraw an image of you know that, that uh, panel of soft and wet with the shovel after he shovels the fucking woman. In the <laughs> oh face. my god! But it's yeah. Leaky Eyed Luca. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that needs to be done. But, Does Prosciutto have any other uh, color palettes, or do they always uh, have them in purple suit? I'm looking at the wiki right now, and in the PS2 game, he's got the yeah, purple suit. Sure the they have a figure where his uh, suit is black instead, and Grateful Dead is uh, white. Dude, that, but then everything else I is like that purple. figure really bad, dude. That figure looks that figure's fucking cool. sick. Oh, it's so good. I'd be okay with uh, with a white dude, I, Grateful Dead. I really want to cool. see the Grateful Dead fight. I really want to see the Grateful Dead fight. Very feminine shoes. Who? The uh, fucking Pashuto. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does. Why are you looking at his feet? What are you? No, it's I. I what are you doing? doing? What are you doing? Your Honor, Matty's a foot nigga. Uh oh. No, I was looking at this fucking. Uh, I was scrolling <laughs> through Twitter and look at this fucking image. He's literally wearing fucking heels. <laughs> dude, it's fashion. It's fashion, dude. But uh, he's a. Uh, I believe yeah, he has relatively this dark pink 
or dark purple blackish suit with the yellow inside. Yeah. But dude, he has a really fucking nice suit. I like oh, his suit a lot. He does. He's so fucking stylish. Dude, it's on fucking Yakuza terms of like suit levels. It's like you want to see big business. This is how we do big business. That's fucking. That's fucking. No, the thing that will be. Dude. The thing that will be interesting is will he have blonde or green hair? Ah, I'd be fine with either. Yeah, I think both. It'd would be work. cool if they did green, just so he can match uh, Pesky a little better. I, I would like, the, I would like the green in like the little, in like the little like different colored scenes or whatever they're called. Yeah. I mean, and, like, I, I, I actually kind of like everywhere. what Tommy brought up, having his hair be green because of Pesci, because Pesci. Oh is, yeah. Because Pesci's designed to look like a fucking turnip. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why he's a turnip, but he is. <laughs> Dude, she's a fucking Chad. Oh, uh, he, yeah, it's like, just like, fucking. <laughs> I'm, no, he's like a palm tree, because he's fucking, he's Pesci. got Beach Boy, he's got the fishing rod, dude, it's fucking. she goes from fucking, hello, sir, how are you, to fucking. I'm gonna kill your ass. <laughs> your, your, your daughter calls me daddy, too. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they, uh, color swap Iluso. Cause I think he looks too much like uh, what was his name? Steely Dan. Dude, Pesky looks like he has a missing. Fucking like, yeah, look at fucking, look at, <laughs> look at Iluso, and then look at fucking Steely Dan or whatever the guys was from uh, uh part three. Yeah, they I look a lot like, yeah. like especially yeah. in uh, color palettes, they're pretty oh, fucking yeah. similar. Uh, except, Malone, I hope they don't change. Except, I like uh, Malone has good Steely colors. Steely Dan is more masculine, like a lot more masculine. <laughs> Uh, I hope they make him way more feminine, so people can't tell if he's not if he's a girl or not. <laughs> uh, like, 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 I, I literally, uh, what, what, what's the fucking babyface user's name? Malone. Uh, Malone. Oh uh, yeah, I couldn't tell if that was a fucking girl or a guy for like the first five pages. It's so hard. It's like it still tricks me every now and then. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and yet he has the fucking creepiest voice in the world. Demon. He's great. Oh. Not so bad. Uh, the yeah. So I I think like a lot of the colors are gonna be good. Yeah. I have a. Just, and like, I mean, uh, Illusio that... kind of needs to stick that way because there's always one antagonist in JoJo who kind of has that similar design. Yeah. At least up to this part. Yeah. Like the yeah, Dan, pretty uh, boy Toshio, motif, Toshikaze, Yeah. And then Illusio. And then Pucci, Toshi. the most handsome man of all. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me otherwise, dude. Poochie is the fucking most handsome brown man in JoJo. Do you see his fucking star-shaped hairline? Uh, um, dude. Have, have you not seen... Have you not seen what's his fuck? A fucking enigma from fucking part four? Have you not seen him? Yeah, but he doesn't have a star-shaped hairline. How do you okay, compete with but. that? Okay, but he's cute as fuck. But how do you compete with a star-shaped hairline? You don't. Uh, by turning people into paper, that's how you compete. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rolling Stones is gonna be fucking... Oh, uh, I can't wait to see Scalipi. I, I hope that they keep his color palette from the, the colored adventures. Yeah, with yeah. the purple hair. It's pretty good. I, I can't wait to There's see gonna my... Be... my... A ton of I wanna fucking fucking censorship. I see the fucking Green Day fight, dude. Green Day fight is gonna be good. Oh man, yeah. oh fuck yeah. Cause Chocolat is super fucking creepy. Yeah. Like he's actually like freaky as all fuck. He's so Chocolat is fucking that local psychopath Diavolo went, I don't really like this guy. I don't I do not like this guy, but he <laughs> he gets shit done. <laughs> fucking look at this shit. Look at this figure. Oh my I god, fucking that's fucking, this is it's frightening, chance. like, fucking, look at this like, other one. Dopio, I know you. we just called in the, fi like, the final hit squad, but you have to go there, just in case he interrogates them, to kill him if he finds out anything. Yeah. Like, there, ah, oh, I, I love, but my, my question is, like, where is fucking Chocolato before that? Like, what is he doing? <laughs> Prior to this, <laughs> probably fucking dismembering some woman. Probably yeah, for research. Uh, listen, ma'am. It seems like Dude, you have. You need to fucking. You need to have a colonoscopy. 
He's such an unredeemable character, and that's what's fucking great about him. He's like, hey, I need your gamer girl piece. That's what makes that seven-page Mudoth so fucking powerful. Yeah, he's fucking- he's such an unredeemable piece of shit. He fucking cuts people up and shit. He doesn't- like, I- he- he joined- he, like, supered his way through school and medical school, became, like, a high-end doctor, but did so so he could give people- false uh uh put them under the knife for false reasons like oh you need to have a colonoscopy even though the person is perfectly healthy and then not only to just to do that but he would tone down the sedation on them so they would wake up mid-surgery but not be able to move so he could see into their eyes and watch them suffer a horrible death yeah he just wants gamer girl he just wants gamer girl not sucko (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Uh, Seko, dude. Seko is a gamer at 100%. They're so fucked up, and that's why they're so cool. They're fucking... If Diavolo, fu- the main villain, is fucking concerned about you being, like, a threat to him, and, like, you're fucking under him, dude, that says something. I mean, he's worried about everything, though. Yeah, he's, he's, about he's a paranoid this is old the man. the type of guy he, like, actively, like, just didn't like. He's yeah, a, he's a he paranoid actively, old man. He's actively, like... Uh, yeah, if, if, this, if this guy gets out of fucking end, you, you, you fucking kill him. You have all right to just ice this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him. I just, I fucking, he's on my contacts list, but under asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do you think he fucking plays Fortnite, dude? Do you think he plays Fortnite Battle Royale? No, right Sekko definitely does, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Seko is absolutely a gamer. No one can convince me otherwise. <laughs> he needs gamer girl pee. It's part of his diet. I mean, look at this guy. This guy fucking dives, like, comes home and dives, like, daily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's man. how Seko actually got so good at diving into the ground. Played nothing but Fortnite and just kept diving. <laughs> like, he would join the game, do the dive down sequence, quit, and join another game. <laughs> <laughs> He would, he would specifically drop and then he quit the game. <laughs> he only plays Fortnite to drop. You think he was one of those he kids bought, that would like try to parkour his... and everything in fucking school? He's like, dude, watch me jump down these fucking stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, I need I need to find the fucking... There, have you guys seen the fucking beer pong video? Where some dude just... It, it's like someone picked up the camera mid-dude jumping, and he just dives headfirst from the top <laughs> of the stairs into the table. <laughs> Is it a good idea to like rip apart a uh, lithium ion battery? Uh, probably not. Why not? Because <laughs> uh, lithium ion is toxic. Yeah? Yeah, dude, purple haze. Should I just inhale this? Should I just rip it apart and inhale it, dude? Yeah, dude, it'll no, awaken your stand abilities. Oh, yeah, dude. Don't listen to but, me, dude. Yeah. You're gonna fucking awaken your stand. Right here, live! Wow. You guys heard it here first. Dude. Zipper has power. <laughs> Hide him from the government. Hell yeah. I just inhaled a fucking lithium ion battery. I should call Zip, what computer. the fuck? <laughs> I, I actually, like, fucking, like, broke a piece off and fucking inhaled. <laughs> you weren't supposed to actually do it, you dipshit. Uh, got anything for views, by the way. Well, fucking <laughs> Zipper <laughs> dies since getting put in the title. <laughs> Zipper literally dies talking about <laughs> Here we go. Here no, we see, go. but it's gonna fucking awaken Zipper's powers. It's gonna be like, when, uh, when we're, when it's gonna be like Karn. Seko, you need to have this video playing on repeat in the background. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> yes, this! Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> oh man. I've fucking seen this so many times. It's gonna be awesome when Mental Ario comes out. I need an edit of this where the guy just goes through <laughs> the table. <laughs> have this you guys seen the video? Have you guys seen the video of the fucking of the fucking guy whipping and fucking his arm breaks? Yes. <laughs> yes. The little black kid. He fucking whips so hard his like elbow just locates and it just snap. With, with how <laughs> off off, uh, off fucking topic we are, we should either come to an end or fucking. Okay, that makes sense, but. This is fucking video when the anime for Vento Aria comes out. If they animate Diablo falling into the abyss, please fucking transition that into that. And we have the greatest thing. What the fuck? One of his deaths. 
be really oh good. my god, I already have a fucking fantastic video <laughs> idea for the end of part five. <laughs> it's just gonna be goodness. like the many deaths of Diavolo, and it's just gonna be a bunch of fucking. It's just gonna be <laughs> Whipping his arm breaking, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but when he fucking whips, you have to pull like the effect that happens when Giorno just sends him into the fucking void of nothing. <laughs> no, it's like, it, like right before his arm breaks, it like the screen goes fucking negative and like they, they bring in a PNG of a golden or gold experience requiem. It just <laughs> now you can't uh, bring in the PNG of the fucking gun goldie experience requiem. <laughs> <laughs> the the, gun, the gun's powerful. Oh fuck! Uh, That'll be a powerful video. See, we have ideas already, guys. So if there's fucking like day one oh, I can't finale shit post, <laughs> like if the day the Diablo's death gets animated, you see a bunch of fucking random shit posts within the next hour or two. We have had this shit ready. Oh man! Since fucking Watch June. <laughs> the sour fucking YouTube career is about to take off. This is gonna be fucking great. There's so much shit post potential. We have the dance. We have Diavolo dying, that's gonna be the funniest fucking thing on the planet. We have Narantia being fucking terrible at math and getting stabbed with a fork. Oh, they're gonna censor that! He's gonna stab uh, him in the fucking cheek and it's gonna like, just turn into black. Everyone talks about, like, all the blackness of it. it, it what it's gonna censor is all- it's just gonna be the stab wounds. Yeah. You can't show something piercing something on Japanese television. Or, like, Sad. but you can have, like, all the blood and stuff. Yes, you're just gonna see fucking- a puddle of blood fly out of his cheek, and then right where the fork is, like the tip of the fucking cheek, Japanese is just gonna be black. Laws are so fucking weird. I, I, I keep watching the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that, that I, I think it'd probably be best to call it call it here now. I think so. So, yeah, all right, probably. guys, as you can tell, we're very fucking excited. This is gonna be a trip. It's gonna be an experience. Honestly, it's gonna be funny as fuck. Because there's so much stupid shit, like, despite how serious Vento Ario gets, there's a lot of just, like, dumb stuff that happens. It's, it's the, like, hey, it's you want to see me do a fucking backflip? And then Narantia does a fucking backflip and breaks his neck or some shit. <laughs> That's gonna be great. I'm excited. Alrighty. That's gonna be cool. I'm Stay tuned too. for all this fucking shit posts. Like I promise you, dude. Abaccio peeing in the cup. Oh my god, the fucking <laughs> edits, the gamer girl pee subtitles. <laughs> gamer mom gives son. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. The jokes write themselves, but thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for watching. Oh, is it you're gonna do the outro? All right, go ahead. Oh yeah. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs>